Hey guys, Jamin here with PC Monkey. I'm bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. In this video, I'm gonna deal with something I hear quite often from you guys. I get regular comments on people being at various stages of disassembly or trying to access a certain component and getting stuck because a screw's been stripped and it's no longer spinning with any amount of force. That screw's just not gonna move. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to deal with a screw that's been stripped, uh, how to get that screw out in this video. I have a computer right here. I've taken the battery out, the hard drive out, I've unplugged it. Uh, I'm not gonna damage anything. And I'm gonna show you the difference between a healthy screw that you can take out and a stripped one that you can't. And then I'll show you how to fix it. So here's our two screws we're gonna be working on today. One on the right, one on the left. As you can see, this one on the right is perfectly fine. Take my screwdriver, and with a little bit of force, that screw comes right up. The one on the left is also healthy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip that screw uh, so that this can't take it out. So I got my safety glasses just in case. My drill. I'm gonna put the drill on the screw. I'm gonna strip it. So now as you can see the difference now between this healthy screw and the one we stripped, this one's been filed down. Uh, instead of a nice clean cross uh, that your Phillips head screwdriver fits into correctly, now it's kind of a rounded, it's, it's been stripped. The metal's been worn down and instead of a clean cross you now have kind of a rounded smooth metal surface. So now you put the screwdriver in and you can't feel it clicking into anything. It's not clicking into the screw. So now, to get that screw out, instead of using another Phillips head bit that won't work, I'm gonna get a drill bit. Uh, it's gonna be a very small drill bit, one that matches the size of the screw. So I don't wanna get bigger than the screw because when I'm drilling down into it, I don't wanna destroy the threading, I don't wanna destroy the panel, I just wanna screw into the screw. So I'm gonna take this bit, I'm gonna put it into my power drill, And now I'm going to put it on the screw and drill down into it. Now when I'm confident I've drilled into the screw enough, I'm going to put the drill in reverse and take the screw out. So there's the top of my screw. It's come out and now that panel can separate. That's one method of taking out a strip screw from a laptop computer. Um, honestly, that's the method I use most in my shop. Uh, there are other methods. I, I, I've heard of the rubber band method. I, I've heard of several methods that people take out strip screws um, from various things, but with laptops, with these small, tiny screws, uh, I find that this way works best for me. It's fast, it, it's easy. Uh, risk of breaking things is low once you get accustomed to it. Uh, so this is how I do things here. Um, if you have another method you use, please leave a comment. I'll, I'll try anything out. I'll also update the frequently asked questions below in the description. Uh, as I see comment questions coming in, I update those. So please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Uh, like and share if this video was helpful. And if you wanted to donate a couple bucks so I can keep making relevant videos like this, the information is also below in the description. So thank you so much for watching, guys.